Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. And if you look here, we have plenty of sports that we can cover you on. So before we get started with some NBA picks for this weekend, I will ask you to join the VIP club section, and you will have all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So as we are heading towards the home stretch in the NBA season, just six weeks to go, teams are fighting for final playoff spots. So we have several games to look at for this weekend. We're going to be going for Friday, April the 9th. So let's get started. We're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of these games. And the first one on the list, we have our Indiana and Orlando. I'm not going to really take a close look at that one. First one is Memphis and the New York Knicks. So every game is of vital importance for these two teams, fighting for the final playoff spots in their respective conferences. Memphis is coming in burning hot at the moment. You can see that they have won their last three games, and the Knicks are ice cold down, losers of four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Knicks have went, went from plus 20 and then went down to plus 14, steady there over the last couple of days, and Memphis is on the rise up now to plus 18. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams. They have not played yet this season. If you're considering the over-under bet, which we always like to do, you can see that Memphis is playing in games trending slightly over the line. The Knicks are playing in games trending a bit under the line. You might want to avoid the over-under bet, but since the Knicks are trending on games considerably below the line, you could bet under, and it would not be an unwise play, it might be a very beneficial play for you to do that. If you look at how consistent the two teams have been, as according to their favorite underdog status, you take a look here at the team volatility oscillator, and both teams have been really very consistent in that regard, plus 16 for the Knicks and plus 14 for the Grizzlies. So what I think is going to happen here, I think the Knicks will have enough. They're going to reverse some trends and they're going to get back on the winning track, and they will take this one at home. Now, notice that the odds are not posted yet for these games, so check back probably tomorrow, Friday morning at the very latest, and the odds should be posted. Minnesota and Boston, we're not going to look at that one. Chicago, Atlanta, Philadelphia, and New Orleans. We're going to take a look at this one here. The 76ers are tied with the best record in the Eastern Conference with the Nets, and the Pelicans are 11th in the Western Conference. The average at the moment... Winners of their last, uh, well, one of the last game, and winners of three out of their last four, three and three over their last six. The Pelicans are ice cold down, losers of their last three, and four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings in the care, you see Philadelphia is at plus 22, and New Orleans is at plus 13. Head to head, you see these teams have not met since 2019, so it's been a long time coming for these two teams to meet up. You're considering the over and under, Philadelphia trending in games well under the line. You see, uh, you know, over the last, you know, week, well under the line. And as far as New Orleans goes, they are also trending under the line. So this is a good time to bet under. And how consistent the two teams have been. Philadelphia, not surprisingly, is one of the most consistent teams in the league. You see they're at plus 21. And New Orleans, not so much at plus 2. So take their favorite underdog status with a little bit of grain of salt before betting on this one. Again, the line is not posted on this, but the 76ers are very tough to beat, one of the best in the league, particularly when Joel Embiid is healthy and he is back in the lineup. He has played well and go with the 76ers to win this one on the road. Charlotte at Milwaukee. These two teams are battling in the Eastern Conference. Charlotte is fifth right now and Milwaukee is third behind Philadelphia and Brooklyn. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, Milwaukee is, has a plus 28 to plus 17 edge, and the teams are trending in opposite directions on this indicator, as you can see. Look at the head-to-head -head matchups between these two teams this season. Take a look at what happened the first time around as a big home underdog. Charlotte won by 12 back on January the 30th. That was a big upset surprise win. Take a look at the totals predictor. You can see that Charlotte is playing in games trending well under the line, minus eight points. 
Milwaukee is trending over the line at plus four. You might want to avoid the over-under because of that, but I would probably actually tend to lean a little bit towards the under because Milwaukee has a strong defense against Charlotte. I think they will hold them down pretty low, and the overall score will be low. If you look at the consistency factor, as far as their favorite underdog status, Milwaukee is at plus 17. And Charlotte is at plus seven. Both teams are on the upward trend in that category. So what I think is going to happen is pretty simple. Milwaukee is far and away the better team. Even though that both teams are averaged down at the moment, they have not. Neither team has played particularly well lately. But the Bucks will come out with a home win. San Antonio at Denver. Here's an interesting matchup in the Western Conference. San Antonio is battling for a final playoff spot. And the Nuggets are in a solid fourth position looking for home court advantage in the first round. Denver is burning hot at the moment. You see they have won their last six. And have beaten some pretty good teams along the way as well. The Clippers and Philadelphia. So they have been playing very well. The Spurs are ice cold down. Losers of their last three and four out of their last six. Look at the power rankings indicator. You can see the trend. Denver up to plus 27. And San Antonio dropping from plus 18. Just a little less than a week ago, down to plus 12. Head-to-head, -head, you can see in the last game between these two teams, again, here's a case where the home underdog came out with a win. San Antonio, a considerable home underdog, won by 10 in the last meeting. Considering the over and under, totals predictor shows a plus 4 for San Antonio. And, you know, right there, pretty much right under the line for Denver. Probably avoid the over-under on this one because of that factor, over and under the lines for uh, the teams. Um, if you want to look at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? The consistency factor, you can see that Denver is playing very consistent. They're up plus 17, meaning they are winning most of their games. They've been fair in most of their games, and they've been winning. And San Antonio is down here at plus four. They were as high as plus six. So putting it all together, I think that the outcome will be reversed this time from the first meeting, and Denver will come out with a home win. Houston and the Clippers. Washington and Golden State. We're going to take a look at this one. Washington and Golden State. The Wizards have been struggling all season. There's no doubt about it. They're third from the bottom in the Eastern Conference. They are ice cold down at the moment, and they have lost four out of their last six. Golden State has been in the mix for the playoff push, but they have, they have not been playing great lately either. They have lost four out of their last six, but they did come up with a big 122-121 win over Milwaukee on April the 6th. They are 10th in the Western Conference. If you look at the power ranking indicator, they have a plus 9 to plus 4 advantage in that category. In head-to-head -head play, they have not met since March of last season, so that doesn't really play into consideration for picks. For this game, if you're considering the over and under, Washington is playing in games trending well under the line at minus four points, as is Golden State, but they're at minus two, so both teams are under the line. This is a prime example to bet the under. It will be a very good bet for you. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. How consistent have the teams played according to their favorite underdog status? Again, we have one team which is much more consistent than the other. Golden State at plus 16, and Washington at plus 7. The outcome of this game, I think, will not be really much in doubt. I think Golden State is considerably better, and I believe that the Warriors will win and take out the Wizards in this one. So there you have it. Those are all the matchups for April the 9th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.